Yo, what in the Bionis is up, everybody? Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Yo, bless you, Shulk. We have a sneezy boy on our hands. We have a new party member named uh, Sharla. Sharla, yeah, she's level 15. Doesn't have very many HP. She's into devotion, so I, I think she's a Christian. And I'm not really sure what she's about, but I'm excited to have a new party member. The more the merrier, for sure. So she comes from Colony 6, and she's with this group of refugees that escaped because Colony 6 got attacked just like Colony 9 did. These Mechcon are ruthless and just trying to kill everybody over here on the Bionis planet. Or a bi island? I'm not sure what you would consider Bionis. The, the giant Mechcon that we live in. Yeah, this is where the, the refugees are staying. It's pretty cozy. I like the, t the, the table right here. How they're just like made of boxes. Looks cool. But yeah, we need to get a move on because Charlotte's younger brother Juju just ran away and Shulk had a vision of him getting murdered by a bunch of like tentacles, robot tentacles. It's pretty messed up. It was a really, really creepy vision. <laughs> but we also had a vision that Sharla is going to die too, but Shulk is too scared to tell Sharla about it. So I'm not really sure what that's about. The other day, I went for a walk near Ragul Bridge. I thought there wouldn't be many monsters there, you see, but I ended up getting attacked. In my haste to escape, I dropped the gift my boyfriend gave me. Will you find it for me? Gotta find the bird necklace. Okay, I accept. I wonder what kind of bird necklace it is. I hope it's a toucan necklace. But there's so many different types of birds, it's insane. We've got like penguins, ostriches. What else? Pigeons? There's no end to them. There are monsters in my favorite place. Saw them when I went to gather food near Colony 6. I want you to get rid of them. <laughs> Everybody just wants us to kill monsters for them. I saw loads of different turkey the other day. <laughs> there was a really huge one too. Can you get rid of it for us? It's too scary. N not the direction of the Turkin headquarters. <laughs> There's a headquarters for them? Turkin are smarter than I thought. I always worry they'll attack. Only slept six hours last night. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh no, not the attacking Turkins. Never thought I would see it. Xenoblade seems like it was made for me at this point. Especially with Shulk being like my video game alter ego. I really, I'm gonna find a stylist out there who can help dress me like the Xenoblade universe. Cause this stuff is cool. I like the way they dress. I'm a fan of their fashion, big time. So the bop's already bopping in. Let me grab, oh no. Do we have some spiders? Are they not the same type of creature? Oh, there's leg, and then there's basin? That's where they're from, I'm guessing. Can I circle around? Thanks. Get it from the side. I really wish I got the back attack. That's a good. Minato's getting strong. Okay, how is Charlotte's attacking doing? Oh, she has like a huge gun. Holy crap. Huge gun and some nice booty shorts? Sign me up. <laughs> that's how I want to dress too. I want to dress like Sharla. Just wield a gigantic gun that's like the size of my whole body while wearing booty shorts. I feel like I'd be an icon. Oh, get a vision. Scar Claw. Okay, Ryan, we got you. Oh no, we can't warn him. Okay, let's just go ahead and give him a shield. Blocked. Do all three of us get it? We do. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and find this kid. Where's my boy Juju? Got a Juju on that beat. A hey, Juju on that beat. Yep, Juju on that. Juju on that. Juju on that beat. Slide. Stop. Here's your quantum. Stop. There are a few ways to get there from here, but he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge. It's not far. It's a really old bridge built around the time Colony Nine was founded. That looks so cool. Okay, let's make that our next stop. Sounds like a plan. Charla, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. Oh, 
What? Yeah. You think I can't pull my weight in battle? No, we just saw that you're gonna I've got die. Experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting okay. up. Okay. I'm good with that. Help. No, Ryan. Yeah, she's. <laughs> we're trying to protect her life too. This is a cool looking bridge. I like all the mushrooms down there. It feels like a massive version Come of on. Pianta Village from Mario Sunshine. The way. Oh, now the front suspension's all twisted up. It's for you your own good, Juju. It. They're all cowards. I'll show them all. What are you, who are you trying to show up right now? Freaking teenagers, I swear. Look at that giant, giant triceratops up there. Such a big boy. Wow, can we travel amongst this whole entire world? Are we gonna end up walking up this whole body or what? That's the other creature over there, right? Cause there's like two gigantic mech on. We're on the Bionis right now. The other is the Mechonis. Am I looking at the Mechonis right now? Unless, is that it over there? Whoa, can I target onto this big guy over here? He's just galloping. He's having the time of his life. What's oh, a new location? Valeria Hill. Level 16. He's violent and a Dante. Am I supposed to kill this guy? Why is there an exclamation point right there? I don't... I'm not going to chase him down. He's going the wrong direction. I'll let him live for now. Is there a limit to how far I can jump down? Oh. Well, is that actually a punishment if I just auto heal right afterwards? It doesn't feel like anything happened. I guess that would only affect me when I'm in battle. Is there like some lore to the fact that we are always auto healing and just gaining all of our life back all the time? Do they have just crazy immune systems? They're able to really repair themselves? What is that? M42 scout unit. Does that mean it's a mech on? Take it out. No one's gonna be scouting me. Let me get the back hit. There we go. Here. That's right. Now let's do the buster. Monado buster. That's right. Back to back. Takes you out quick, quick. You've been here this whole time? Oh, isn't this like the type of creature that snitched on us to the face? The metal face? I don't think you can do the from behind attack when they're aggroed onto you. But now we can. Very sick. Bring it on. These are some big hits. How's Charlotte doing? Is she doing much damage? It seems like it. I think she just did like 300. Some rusty parts. Some quark leggings. I'm not sure. Like Captain Quark? Captain Quark leggings. Did Juju really just... Oh my god, dude. So aggressive. Did Juju ride past all of these creatures? Maybe that's the reason he ended up crashing the buggy. He was like trying to skirt around them. Oh wait, why is there an exclamation point up there? I can't get up there, but the minimap says there's something up there. Okay, how far could this kid have gone? Here, I think I need to attack. I think we need to fight. I can't back down. Wait, are they are they running away? Here, please stop, stop. Pull back. I think they gave up. They're afraid of bridges. Not this one, I guess. An energy shot. Let's bust it. Busting. There's so much damage. What does pressing B do there? Did it increase our affinity? It's a little bit hard for me to tell. I need to start 
inflicting some break. Okay, I had to kill him because I don't think you can pick up items when you're in the middle of conflict. It's Juju's buggy. <laughs> Damn, they zipped. They were just like. Boom. I like how the cutscenes adapt to the time of day and to the clothes they're wearing. The fact that they're all in game like this and so accurate, it's cool. They didn't have to pre-render the cutscenes. I think that makes it more impressive from an animation <gasps> standpoint, what right? Ah! We're seeing multiple Juju. visions. What is it? That can't be good. It's Juju. Shulk, is he okay? Uh, uh, I'd rather not talk about Tell it. Me. There's a mech on. It's taken Juju. Oh. When? I'm... I'm not sure. But I don't think we've got much time. Was there not another buggy that we could have taken? It's like so we have to be on foot right now. Oh yeah, but I can do auto run. No hands, baby. No hands. Check it out. I can be more of like an expressive YouTuber right now. Oh shoot. Nope. I gotta hands it up. Just like that. We got, is that the bird necklace? Wait, a little girl wants nothing more than some pet insects to call her own. Make her day by finding her some collectibles. Is that a moth? It was the moth. For some reason, the kids play with moths in this Xeno universe. I don't understand it. Reorganizing arts. The battle palette can only hold up to eight arts at once. If a character learns more, you can reorganize them. I've gotten quite a few notes on some, like, advice on how to organize my arts. People were telling me to group them by colors so I could get more damage multipliers by using the same colors together. And also, somebody told me to put, uh, to change the, the controls a bit and make it so I use the L and R bumpers. To switch between the arts instead of uh, the d-pad and that would help a little bit more with like accuracy when fighting so i might i might do that as well because i have had some problems with about. the d-pad this is it all right at the end of the road there's a path to colony six just a little kid I'm sure his endurance isn't that high no i wasn't walking too far in foot when i was young distance seems so like, distances seem so much further when you're a kid and then you become an adult in distance, like, it all starts to bleed. Like, whenever you're a kid and you go on long road trips, it feels ten times longer than what it feels like as an adult. Time just, like, flies by once you get older. Dang it, I just want my items, please! Okay, I'm gonna bust or blade all of you guys. I wish it said how much HP they have as, as a number instead of just a little health bar. That way I could, like, quantify it more on my head. It looks like he has about like 10,000 HP. That's like my guess. The Mechon M64. It's almost like a Nintendo 64 ROM. The the file extension for Nintendo 64 ROMs are always .m64 or .z64. Oh wait, I'm like dying, dying. What the heck happened to me? Oh my god, I wasn't even aware of what was happening at that moment. Okay, we need to take this guy out fast fast come on please okay he's gone there's one more he's gonna break him okay. wobble him ryan i need to start playing as ryan too i'm just like still getting used to shulk and i don't like switching characters too much and i'm still getting acquainted and like trying to get better with one character but at the same time, it would be, probably be more interesting to watch if I was switching between characters more. But at the same time, I like playing a Shulk. Like, I'm enjoying myself. I'm not used to playing games where you, like, switch between different protagonists at all times. I'm used to, like, playing as Mario or playing as Link. Like, you just, you get your character and that's what it is. But Ryan does have a cool moveset. I will give him that. But I also really like Shulk's moveset. And I need to learn it better still. No, oh gosh. The they get so angry so fast. I don't think fighting them is the wave right now. I think we just need to run for it. We gotta save Juju. Assuming that he's not already dead. 
With, with how many mech gun are out here, I have no idea how Juju made it through here by himself. I'm shocked. Oh, what's that? What is that, Colony 6? Whoa. I just realized how excited I am to see all the other colonies in the game. This is not Colony 6. This is just another bridge. But I am very excited to see, like, the other civilization and other cities in this universe. I already know it's going to be next level. Thank you for giving up. We got the Humming Plum. For all of the hummingbird fanatics. Okay, the map is telling us to head in this direction now, so... If you say so, map. I kind of want to look at the world map now. I haven't done that in a long time. Bionis Leg. Wait, there's different levels? Oh, there's two. Okay, we're on the upper level right now. We just got here, though. Thin. We've seen a decent amount of the lower level. There's a lot of quests for us to do. There's a lot of exploration. I understand now why this game takes so long to get through. Whoa, was that lightning? The game has weather. I think this is my first time seeing weather. Okay, beautiful. Oh, this game is such a vibe. <laughs> Whoa. Juju. This thing is cool. The giant metal octopus. Wait. Shut up. Shulk, you always wait to the last minute. This is why people die. It's all your fault. Juju. Ah, oh, that's a hard clamp. Another Shulk. Symbols appeared on the Monado. Wait, what's happening? This is a cool looking cutscene. Of course you can. Whose voice was that? Whoa, what? That was sick. Its tentacles could come out from under the ground at any second. One false move and you're done for. Wait for my order. Ryan? You got my back? Of course. Leave it to me. Not the watch. <laughs> Why is he wearing a watch like that? He's exact. Visions are coming in handy right now. Feels like Hercules fighting the Hydra. Whoa. This cutscene's awesome. Yeah, it is. Do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. That's right. Where does the power of the Monado come the from? swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move. Okay, can you explain what this new power is? Speed. Does it just make us faster? Didn't really get much information there. Okay, I'm just gonna wobble them. I need to figure out what's going on. This is the M71. Uh, this thing is so creepy looking. Okay, it's doing quite a bit of damage. What the heck? I have a debuff of immunity on right now. I'm gonna reduce my aggro. That's probably for the best because I am getting hit a lot right now. Am I just too far to hit? Okay. Boom. Oh, please don't die, Shulk. Why am I being drained of HP? Like, I don't even see anything hitting me. Okay, we increase our dodging ability with speed. Okay, that's not that much damage. I'm gonna do a Buster Blade. Let's see how much damage we're able to do. Okay, we can do 2,000 damage, so we're actually able to do damage, but we died already. That was so fast. What was that? I probably wasn't using the speed ride, was I? 
Okay, this is on Ryan. Okay. Got smacked. And guard shift? This is not. This is not going well in the slightest. He still has so much HP left. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? Because that's not the way to do this. The bosses are tough. I appreciate it, though. Like, I need to learn the game in order to do well in the game. But what's also cool how this rock is glowing all green. Very pretty. Okay, just throws this back into the fight. Cool. We're in attack mode. Maybe we're supposed to cut off the legs first. What? It killed me already? What in the world? Do I have to put on speed first? Okay, can I use my the speed before I get in there? Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Give me speed. Increase your chance of dodging. Please. Did I get it? What the heck? Does this mean I need to go do side quests? Is that like what this is indicating for me right now? Maybe I'm just not strong enough? I'll try to do this one more time, but it seems like this might be side quest time. Can I like warp back here if I leave? Let's use that. Then let's give myself speed. That way I can protect myself. And what should I attack first? Do I want to attack inside first? Ryan, let's help Ryan. He's losing HP fast. Is he being, what is he being attacked by? Should I do the tentacles first? Level It's only a level 15. I should definitely be able to kill this, I feel. Okay, he's coming in with a fire shot at Sharla. That means she. Oh, but she's never much HP at all, does she? What am I supposed to do about that? Revive. And, and encourage. Get that affinity up, please. And thank you. Okay, it looks like. Since Ryan's taking out the legs first, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do as well. Oh, shoot. This is not going well. That'll take me out. Let's shield ourselves. Wait, did it hit me already? Did it even give me a chance? Okay, I'm gonna go do some side quests. This is what it feels like it's time for. I'm just curious as far as teleporting goes. Can we teleport back here? Yeah, we can, cool. Then, what landmarks do we have to go back to? What do these really big exclamation points mean? Is that where the good quests are? So they come back here to the Kamos guideposts. And that's where we started the episode, yeah. I think when we respawned, this is where it was. I think I see the bridge over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna run around and look for some more things to kill that are on our missions. And yeah, like here's some some ponies already. And I'm just gonna try to level up a couple levels that way we won't die so quickly to that creature. Because I feel like if we can get one or two levels above it, we'll be okay. But right now I think it's just a little bit stronger than us. And then also I can put on some better gear possibly. Uh, level up some of the arts if I have the ability. I'm not really sure what I can and can't do right now. There's another quest finished. A thoughtful idea. Wait, no reward for that one? These are the enemies I feel bad for killing though because they're they're not trying to hurt me at all. They're all innocent. <laughs> Maybe they're not always innocent. Maybe like sometimes they do get aggressive. 
The horn in front of their face definitely seems like it could do some damage. So I understand why people could be afraid of this guy. They get just a little bit afraid and all of a sudden it's just ramming into you and impaling your whole entire eye socket out. Oh damn, but just like that. Just like Ryan had to experience. I just realized how anxious Charlotte probably is right now. <laughs> like Juju's in the claps of that giant robot and then I just warped back to do side quests. <laughs> if she's not on edge, then that wouldn't even make sense. Our younger brother's about to die, and we're just ignoring it. These things really hurt you. Get down, cool. We're getting, eight. we're getting EXP for killing them, and then once we finish the quest, we should get even more. I feel like we also just like want to fill in the whole map, right? Don't I just want to keep on exploring a little bit? Just go kind of like hug the walls and see if there's anything hidden. Just really appreciate the universe for what it is. There's a weird opening over here, a, a cave that I haven't even gone through. Okay, I also need to press Y to bring up the map more often. You can use Y to bring up the map, and then press down to bring up all of our side quests. There's so many. I'm gonna just do a lot more side quests right now, though. That kind of sounds fun, if anything. Oh, is this the Turkin headquarters? I think it is. We found the Turkin headquarters. Yes. Okay. Get behind. Get behind. Oh no, I missed it. Let the break. Ryan, do what you're supposed to do. Come on, Ryan, you gotta do your part, man. Always an enemy. I like how they have little like javelins. The javelins and the shields. What great enemies. Get to the side. No, don't aggro onto me. I lowered my aggro. What the heck, dude? Too easy. I want to get up to like level 18, I think. Got some turkey crystals. Hello. How dangerous is it in here? Did the guy get security? Oh, no! Don't let him warn. Don't let him warn. No. Get back here. We're screwed, aren't we? This is not good. They're gonna tell the whole army. Oh no, there's so many of them. They're not all gonna attack, are they? Oh, I guess we're in this. We, we messed up. I feel like we were supposed to be kind of like stealthy, and we did not do that whatsoever. Now we're fighting a ton of attacking Turkins. <laughs> this is so funny to me right now. Is this even possible? Should I even try to do this? I'm kind of like curious as like what's possible for me right now. What's considered too ambitious? That's what's up. Smash! So many guards. Oh, they're they're dead. Yep, this it's over. We gotta sneak in here. I can't just like have him run run back and let the whole flock know it's up. Ain't nobody flocking with the flock. Go back guys. Which is like walking backwards or something. Oh, he goes back fast, huh? Okay. Let's get him before he can go too far. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully nobody else saw. Hopefully they can't see this far. So hopefully kill them before the rest come. I'm really anxious right now. I think they're all too deaf to hear this is going on right now. I'm not sure how good birds hearing is. Birds don't have ears as far as I'm concerned. So I would assume it's not the best. Yeah, 
break his concentration and he's down just like that. Okay, what was the side quest that I'm supposed to do here? Defeat Vagrant Alfeed in the Turkin headquarters on the Bionis Lake. Vagrant Alfeed. Is that the, the Turkin leader? Can I get in and get out like that? There's a lot of Turkin in here. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. Got to be really sneaky. These are all brave. There he is. I see him. He's back there. Can I lure him out? I'm just going to go in for it. Going in for the kill, baby. Just going to focus on got to focus on this one only. Okay. They're going to go for us fast. He has a lot of HP. I'm dead already? Do I just suck at this game or what? Like, I don't... <laughs> I can't tell if this is happening because I'm bad. Why am I missing all my attacks? It's not a big deal. Well, that, that is a big deal. That's a lot of damage. Can I do a shield? Oh, no. Oh my god. They just like mobbed up on you. They mob up on you so hard. That's a hard challenge. It keeps on telling me to make the enemies easier, but I refuse. I just think I need to do quests in a different order. Maybe kill some easier enemies first. But I can't say I didn't try to kill the Turkin. I think we need to kill some more ponios. Hey little ponio. Sorry I had to do you like that. Quest completed, baby. What did we do for that one? Just killed enough ponios, I guess. These vicious monsters. Oh, we got the fleecy fur. Alright, where to next? I don't want to go to the Turkin headquarters right now. What's up on this hill? Oh, is it the giant Triceratops that I'm supposed to kill? There's a lot more if we just keep on like going in this direction. I think this is west. That's what it looked like. Can I kill these Aqua Nebulas? I haven't tried. I don't know what their attacks are like at all. They're really pretty though. They're giant little sky queefs. Oh, he fell to the ground. I feel bad. From the back, from the back. They have a lot of HP as well. They're level 17. Nothing in this game is playing games. All the enemies in this game are pretty hard. Is the level 17 really, like... Can three level 16s not be the level 17 enemy? Are we for real right now? I can't... I'm not losing, but at the same time, like, if this isn't easy, how the heck am I supposed to be that gigantic tentacle guy that has Juju? Oh, am I too far to hit? I think I was. I think get to purposely try to stay within range. Oh, we got this fight. We got it. Oh wait, I need to be doing my chain attacks, huh? Wait, why can't I do it? Can I squad on do a chain attack right now? It's kind of lame. I feel like we should be able to. Oh, I can't now. Cool. Alright, let's do from behind. Cool. Then, hammer beat. And then what has she got? I guess thunder bullet. Bra -ba -ba -ba. That was not nearly as much damage as I was anticipating from that whole entire chain command. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, really just... Did it just deuce on us? Before we could even get the experience or anything? That sucks. I'm so mad about that. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of items down here. 
Whoa, what is that? I see some like weird red lights up in the distance. Are you kidding me? Freaking wolves? Level 13s go down fast. It's like really important to be leveled up. So we should be doing the side quest as we go, it feels. Even if it means Juju has to die in the process. It's worth getting the experience beforehand. The guard plans are so expansive. Seeing the lightning behind that giant thing in the background looks so cool. Okay, where am I going in here? I'm just trying to like fill in the map right now. So I can at least look at the map and just see the whole entire shape of the region. What are these ostrich looking asses? Level 73? Okay, I probably shouldn't fight them. I will let them chill and do their own thing. The birds in this game are all so vicious. What is this weird yellow thing over here? Trying to figure that one out. The ju juicy broccoli <laughs> in the middle of the party, bitch, get off of me. I keep on wanting to smoke on that broccoli. What is this? Just a treasure chest? Is this from something I killed and just like didn't open the treasure chest for? It's like very generous for it not to go bad or something. Okay, let's hug this cliff now. I think there's something north of here, from what it looks like. This is a gigantic... Can I go up on those cliffs? Is this like Breath of the Wild in the instance where like every area is an area you can go to? Okay, we found the Maker Bunnets, cool. So for one of the side quests. I think more of my attack should hurt both enemies. Pretty please. These guys are gonna be easy though. We're on level 13, we're level 16. They're just like constant reactions left and right. No! I don't want to fight you guys. Not the right kind of enemy. Some more bugs. I'm ready for the daytime. What time is it? It's 23.04. Oh, I'm not very good with military time. Oh, shoot. Oh, I can fall off. I can fall off. Wow. I thought maybe there would be an invisible edge. No, there's not. You can just fall to your death like that. Noted. Achievement, terminal velocity. Hey, at least I got an achie achievement for it, I guess. There's a silver lining. Oh, there was like a little mining spot that I missed out on. Oh, we do get a mining spot. Can we mine right now? Do I have a pickaxe? Find ether deposits and harvest crystals. Harvest very pure ether crystals from ether deposits. When you haven't exhausted the supply, try returning later. Oh, for real? I got wind crystals. I like how the reflection on this works. That looks so cool. I've never seen something like this in a game before with this many like different reflective textures. That's so sick. You know, this game is like expanding my mind in the gaming universe more than a game has in a very long time. Okay, back to the map. Oh, what is this exclamation point for? Like a big one right in the middle of the map. Do I want to jump? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, but that wasn't too far. Oh, that really, really hurt. This is just what we were looking for. More of the makers. The makers mark. Just one left. 
That's what's up. We're just getting money from this, not EXP. Hey, but we leveled up anyways. That's what I'm talking about. Level 17. I wish we can get to 18. 18 is my goal. Ryan's level 17 as well. Nice. Okay, now we want to go through this field from north to south. It's pretty big, but it's not too big. It's a, it's a good size. It's very, very long from left to right, but it's not too big from top to bottom. That's what she said. <laughs> there needs to be a pet option. That's what the game is missing. I want to pet these creatures. What, what is this thing? It's a rest area. How do I rest here? There ain't no rest for the wicked, I guess. Ooh, the sky is super pretty. There's nice clouds, there's constellations. Just the very detailed galaxies. The Xenoverse. It's super cool. Sound of all our footsteps. The nice music. You hear the bugs. The crickets, the locusts. I'm so mad. Not a sniper, Turkin. What the heck? Why? Why so freaking extra? We got this, though, right? Right, team? Should not be a problem for us. Armu plow. No, don't plow my. 8,000? Wait, 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 wait. Can I warn her? Shields? Wait, did it happen already? No, I think I broke it with the shield. Thank God. Okay, this guy needs to die. He is a menace to society. Is this thing attacking us too over here? No, don't go! Seeking refuge from the gigantic... Three-horn? Tri-horn? Tri-hex? Are they gonna do another shield? Are we gonna warn her? Okay, no, the shield's good. The shield's good. But now it's coming for me. No, it's not. That killed me. What? What? That was not fair. Not at all. No, Ryan. Okay. Oh, this thing is level 77. We stand a no chance. Well, we're standing in moving water. The water's pushing us. I think this is a great area to end the episode. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Xenoblade. In the next episode, we're gonna keep on, you know, trying to level up and try to save Juju. We'll see what we can do to. But until then, make sure to subscribe and... Or else Ryan will shadow box you. That's the last thing you want. Anyways, take it easy. We'll catch you later. Jilly down the stream.